You may have heard me say you need to expose for the uncontrollable, and this is critical. I don't know about you, but 99% of my shoots, there are some level of uncontrollable. If I film outside, I can't control the sky or cloud cover. Or inside an office, maybe there are a bunch of lights and I can't turn them off and I simply have to work around them. So unless you film inside of a studio, you have some level of uncontrollable and that is what your exposure will be based on. Before exposing your shot, you need to make creative decisions on what you want your shot to look like. Those decisions will determine your priority setting. For example, if I want to shoot with a shallow depth of field, then aperture becomes my priority setting. But if I want to shoot long exposure, shutter speed becomes my priority setting. I need to adjust my priority setting first and use the other camera settings to achieve correct exposure. When it comes to exposure, the separation of highlights, midtones, and shadows or contrast ratios, you can't simply guess. You need to use tools to measure the level of brightness in your image. False color is a visual tool that precisely measures exposure by overlaying colors over the different brightness levels in the picture. Some cameras have false color built in, or like me, you can use an external monitor with false color. In this example, let's assume that we have no control over the lamp in the corner. It is now our uncontrollable, and our exposure will be based on exposing for the lamp. I made the decision to have a very shallow depth of field, so I first set my aperture to be wide open. Looking at the false color, we can see that the lamp is overexposed. I can adjust my shutter speed or add ND filters to lower my exposure and keep the light from the lamp below peaking. Once your camera settings are in place, the next step is to add or remove lights to expose the rest of your scene without changing the camera settings. Here you can see the object is underexposed, so I'll turn on a light and adjust its intensity while checking the false color until I reach my desired brightness. A lot of the lights today can be controlled using an app on your phone, so you can stay close to your camera or monitor and adjust the levels remotely. Don't forget to set your camera's white balance to match the color temperature of the room and of your light. That's it. Now I know everything is exposed properly with the correct levels and separations. Thanks a lot for watching until the end, and as a token of my appreciation, I'd like to offer you my free camera setting cheat sheet. Just follow the link below to download the free cheat sheet. Thanks again, and happy filming.